Living in Central Texas, we know the next flash flooding event or tornado is never very far away. In an effort to help you navigate the sometimes confusing insurance industry, we've reached out to the Insurance Information Institute, a nonprofit focused on ways to protect both lives and property before a disaster strikes. Joining us is Dr. Robert Hartwig, president of the Insurance Information Institute. Dr. Hartwig, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Glad to be here. Glad to have you. All right. Well, uh, we can name a number of costly natural disasters that have occurred in the past 10 years uh, in the U.S. alone. Sandy, Katrina, Joplin, Moore, and the ongoing drought here in Texas. Those events alone have cost insurance companies billions. So what is the status of the insurance industry and how stable is it? Well, the insurance industry is financially very strong, very stable, and in fact has record claims paying capital on hand, has been building up its claims paying resources, of course, in the wake of all of these disasters that have occurred around the country. And in fact, I made a presentation just in Austin last week, and as it turns out, Texas has more natural disasters than any other state by a wide margin. Yeah, not as susceptible here to hurricanes, but uh, definitely concerned with possible tornadoes, flooding, fire, and drought conditions. So with that being said, how do we know what insurance we need to have to make sure we're completely covered? And you can add to that list hail as well. That's uh, right. What you need to do is you need to review your insurance coverage right now uh, before disaster strikes. You want to make sure you have the right coverage in the right amount. And as we mentioned, Texas has just about every conceivable type of disaster. And uh, of course, it has the peril of, of hurricanes and tropical storms. Uh, and those can also be associated with flooding, which can also occur anywhere in the state. So you want to make sure that you've got your standard homeowner's insurance coverage, which will typically cover you for wind and hail damage, but also flooding flood coverage, uh, which can be a danger not just along the coast, but in many other parts of the state. Uh, and you, the time is now to get flood coverage if you don't have it. We saw what happened with Hurricane Ike in Texas back mm -hmm. in 2008 or Sandy last year. It takes 30 days for that policy to come into force. So you need to act now. So that is not covered by our homeowner's insurance. That's going to be separate. What else isn't covered by the homeowner's policy? Well, the other big exception is going to be earthquake, uh, but that's not such a big issue in Texas. However, in some coastal areas, you will need to get a separate policy uh, from the Texas windstorm insurer along the coast uh, in order to make sure you're protected there. So we're talking right along the immediate coastal counties uh, of Texas. That won't be the case in Austin, but certainly if you have a summer home, you have friends and relatives in that area, you want to make sure they're aware of that as well. Uh, you want to make sure that, uh, that all of your possessions are documented, and we do produce a free home inventory app called Know Your Stuff, which you can download off the iTunes store or off of our website at iii.org. So that'll make sure that you've documented all your valuables uh, and so that you'll be able to expedite the claims process if and when you do have a disaster that strikes your home. It's good information, Dr. Hartwig. And finally, do you have any resources our viewers can use to help them with disaster preparedness? Well, absolutely. If you go to our website at www.iii.org, you'll find all sorts of information resources that will help you prepare for, uh, for all types of natural disasters that would hit you anywhere in the United States, including in Texas. And the Insurance Information Institute has some uh, new free apps that we can take advantage of as well. We'll have that posted on our weather blog on kxan.com. Dr. Hartwig, thank you so much. Glad to be here. Thank you.